some people when they see something like this in their garden they panic because they think oh and there's a bug or some kind of a critter that's going to eat my plants or do some damage but uh, this is a spider I'm not sure what kind he is and he's not going to be looking to eat any of the plants okay, and this one doesn't have any uh, web right now I don't think he does but so this is probably a hunting spider and what he does is he'll hunt down critters to eat small ones that are probably going to try to eat your plants. So this guy is actually one of your friends. Okay, there's one of my buddies in the garden. See him? Yeah, let's see if we can get him to move. Oh, there he goes, see? And now these guys go after all kinds of bugs. See, he wants to, yeah, there he is peeking at me. These are good friends in the garden. And this guy's patrolling here. Of course, he's preoccupied with me at the moment. But he's patrolling the vines here to see if he can find any critters to eat. Critters that want to eat this stuff, which I don't want them to eat. Now as you look around and you see this creature, this praying mantis, patrolling, looking for something to eat, the reason he's there is because there is something to eat. There are bugs that are in this garden that like to eat the vegetation. And what he's after is those bugs. So he's a predator, he's a carnivore, but he goes after the bugs that eat what's in the garden which is good for the gardener. And if you stop to think about it, well, the bugs eat the leaves, the uh, praying mantises and other things eat those bugs, and there's a, a balance that happens. And if you, if you go through the whole thing and you follow it through, what you see is if you set up an organic contained environment, generally it will maintain itself and you'll get minimal damage to your vegetation if you just let things settle out all by themselves. You know, if you put together an aquaponics greenhouse, or I guess any aquaponics system, what you end up with is an ecosystem. Now let me show you what I mean by that. As we're walking through here, I, I don't use any chemicals in here at all, and things are growing well. Now, as all of you probably know, uh, aquaponics means there's a source of water and there's fish in it. And there are goldfish in here. This thing's about four feet deep. And goldfish are kind of handy because, you know, you feed them, and they uh, their uh, waste products create nutrition uh, for the plants. And... Uh, They'll also eat algae and all kinds of things. But let me show you something else. These grow beds right here, as you can see, there are little flies flying around. And if you're careful, let me disturb this. What you can there see are mosquito it. larvae in here. Let's move this one around. We might disturb a few. See the, I don't know if you can see it. Some of the mosquitoes are flying. Let's see if we can disturb something over here. You can see mosquitoes flying. So what I'm trying to show you here is that in this... Uh, this floating raft uh, setup, there are mosquito larvae and other things being bred in here, and they're uh, surviving quite nicely. Now, you might be able to see some of the dead bugs here, or you might see some of them flying around. But my point with this is that this is alive. This is not sterile water. You can see there's a mosquito right there on, on that plant leaf. But they're breeding, and what happens is those mosquitoes die, and and they uh, feed the goldfish over there in that pond. So in that regard, this is kind of an ecosystem. Well, it is an ecosystem. Now the other side of this is there are a lot of bugs that are living off of each other. In other words, bugs will try to eat these kind of plants, and then there are other bugs that try to eat the the bugs, I'll call them, that are trying to eat these plants. 
And what they do is if, if you get an infestation, like I had at one time with the cabbage over there, um, other bugs come in and, and they take care of it because, hey, there's food. The kind of bugs they like are kind of bugs that are eating the plants. And they get them. And they, they do a fairly good job of it. Uh, one of the favorite ones uh, is yellow jackets. They really go after bugs that eat cabbage and broccoli leaves. And uh, so they're really uh, voracious on those guys. And I haven't, you know, I'll just for example, I haven't sprayed this at all for anything. And you can see that there's minimal damage done, if you can see any at all, done by uh, inchworms and things like that, or caterpillars. And it's because the, uh, the uh, yellow jackets are so prevalent and so active because they found something in here once and boy they're after it ever since. One thing I've been told about yellow jackets is they eat meat and they eat sweet. So here they're after the nectar in these celery uh, flowers and what they're doing is the same thing the bees do and they, they like nectar as well and so they pollinate flowers just like bees do but not as good as bees but they still do a fairly decent job at pollinating 